you made it, you made it like by far the biggest like debut. You guys have just been so wonderful. Breaking news. Taylor Swift is once again in the spotlight and making headlines after the Grammy announcements. Hold up, Swifties. You won't believe the huge news that just dropped. Taylor Swift has officially received six Grammy nominations for this year's ceremony. Yes, you heard that right, six. But how did she react? Did she scream, cry, or just stay humble? Let's dive in and find out. The singer credited her legion of Swifties at her era's tour stop in Toronto on Thursday night. You guys got this album nominated for six Grammys, she said. It's so unbelievable, so thank you. Swift showed more love to her fans about how they have embraced the tortured poets department, which also scored record and song of the year nominations for Fortnite, Swift's collaboration with Post Malone. You guys have been so wonderful about getting into this album and really understanding where I was coming from with it, and you made it by far the biggest debut week I've ever had of an album, she said, and you kept that album at number one for nearly four months. Everything that happens is a direct reflection of the passion that you show. Swift, who will wrap up her epic era's tour in Vancouver on December 8th, concluded, it's truly blown my mind. And in doing so, Swift made more history. She became the first woman to be nominated for Album of the Year seven times, breaking a tie she previously held with Barbra Streisand. From breaking records to creating magic with every album, Taylor Swift is no stranger to Grammy success. But this year, it's a bit different. Her latest album has made waves, and now it's time for the Grammy nominations to prove just how much impact she's had on the music world. And of course, Swifties around the world couldn't hold back their excitement. Twitter went into full meltdown mode. Fans are already predicting that this could be Taylor's biggest Grammy night yet. I mean, she already has 11 Grammy wins under her belt. Could this year be the year she takes home even more gold? Now, it's no secret that Taylor has had her share of Grammy victories. Who could forget the iconic moment when she won Album of the Year for Fearless back in 2010? Or when she took home Album of the Year again in 2021 with Folklore? If Taylor wins this year, it'll be her third Album of the Year win. That's a major flex. What are your thoughts on all of this? Isn't Taylor's reaction so humble? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.